Hi stampers, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps and I have a project to share with you featuring the Under My Umbrella stamp set and the Coordinating Umbrella Builder Punch. And this stamp set is just wonderful for right now. Um, it includes some really positive greetings that any of us could use or send, um, things about love and hello sunshine and no matter the rain, you're always on my mind, etc., etc. So let me show you some projects. Um, this is the one we're gonna make today. It is featuring not only the Under My Umbrella stamp set and, and flowers and so forth, but the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper, which is a sneak peek from next year's annual catalog available now during the month of April. And this Ornate Garden Designer Series paper is a perfect match for the flowers in the stamp set. So uh, I do have another project that I can show you that features the Ornate Garden, um, Ornate Thanks stamps in that suite, and then the Ornate Garden uh, dies to go along with it, layering, ornate layering, something like that, layering frames. Anyway, um, I'm going to give you some directions and let's get stamping. All right, so our card base is actually a regular size card and this color is terracotta tile, which is one of the current in colors. This in color is actually continuing into the next catalog, uh, 2020 to 2021, but there are five in colors that are not continuing. And if you want any of those, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you order those um, soon because they are on the retiring list that will be announced or has been announced um, in mid April. And so those colors are blueberry bushel, call me close, over, grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, and Lovely Lipstick. Um, Reinkers, papers, everything about these is going to go away, so make sure you don't wait too long on those. All right, that was my, my public service announcement. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab this piece of designer series paper from the Ornate Garden. It's pretty foiled on one side, and... Uh, the pretty flowers on the other that match our project. So this is cut to three inches by four inches, which is a very magic size because you get 12 from the package. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount that onto the piece of flirty flamingo, which is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And remember these directions are all um, available as a free PDF if you place any size order with me um, during my, in my online store this month during April. So, okay, so I've got our card base ready. Now, really, you could decorate that anyway. And that's what I did when I made my version of this card with the Ornate Thanks stamp set. But we're going to go ahead and do our... Um, do our umbrella here and I'm going to give you some tips on that. First of all, we're using photopolymer stamps so you just want to use your um, paper piercing mat so that you get a nice solid image and instead of black or gray for this, I'm going to go ahead and use my soft suede ink which is a really beautiful neutral and it gives just a little softer tone um, than using something that's really dark. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my umbrella and if you think about how you're going to go ahead and punch this, I'm going to have to go into my card stock like this to punch. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it like this on the edge because if you see, that's going to match my punch. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp a couple of the flowers. And then these are going to be fussy cut. So we'll cut those out eventually. And I need my greeting, which is going to be here on this strip. And we'll go with the uh, rain or shine. You're always on my mind. We're going to kind of get that there as a nice piece and then go ahead and trim that off. So we've got that ready to go. And then the last thing we need is the umbrella stick. Now, there's a really important tip about this. When you're mounting the stamp, it's really tempting to want to take it and put it on the block. But here's a super exaggeration. See how I got that really bendy? That it's, there's no way that that is going to match my punch in the end. So when you have a, a stamp like this that's um, not super like strong on its own, the best way to mount that stamp is to go ahead and put it on your stamping surface so that it can have its own native shape. And then just gently set your block on it. Then you know that when you stamp that, no worries, you're going to have exactly the shape that matches the punch. Okay. So actually, you know, before we um, before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead and color. So our colors for this are Calypso Coral and Daffodil Delight. And then for our green, I picked Old Olive. And you can use two. The pieces are so small, I'm not going to worry too much about um, using both of them to highlight. But um, we're going to start off with our umbrella here. So these, oh, you know what? Actually, it's not, it's not Daffodil. It's so saffron. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go back. Um, so I'm going to take my so saffron. Now, when I do this, I often like to start with a, here, I'll put the finished one next to it so you can kind of see as we go how we're doing this. So I like to start off with a, 
um, light color wash okay on our umbrella so I'm just going to kind of go all over but I am following the um, sort of the native lines of the umbrella okay the the shading and the direction of it all right and then I'm going to take my darker of the two and I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some color here at the edges see how that works okay so down here at the bottom where it's going to be shadowed right because we're putting our umbrella upside down if we were doing it the opposite way we would we would shadow the not the top because that's where the light would be hitting all right so now i've got a pretty strong transition there but what i'm going to do is go back with my light and i am going to sort of burnish the color between the light and the dark line to just give that a, just a little bit softer transition okay so you see how you can use the light marker too to just layer the color on and it's really tempting to want to go over these areas here but i'm not going to i'm going to leave them because we want to have some variety all right now for our flowers i'm going to go ahead and color i don't I'm not looking at my sample, I'm just coloring. I'm gonna color these guys here in yellow, which means I think the center one, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Just pick two colors. I'm gonna do the center of that one and then this one in yellow. And then I'm gonna go back with my Calypso Coral and I'm gonna color these guys, the edges and here. And you can use your light or your dark. I'm gonna give the centers some darker color and then go back with your leaves and here is our old olive getting in the action oh i realize i've missed a little flower there okay so once we've got that all done then i'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these and i'm going to give myself just a little bit of white area around the edge And I'm not going to worry too much about the bottom because that's going to actually tuck under our umbrella. So that'll give us a little extra t um, space to adhere our elements if we don't cut it too close on that part. Okay. Then I'm going to go back with my punch here and reach in. If you haven't used these punches before, don't forget there's a, um, a lock mechanism. So they store flat like this and you can stack them up. And then to open them, you have to push this lock down and then the punch will open so that you can get your cardstock inside there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch that, and then I'm gonna go back and punch my uh, handle here. And you can see how that lines up perfectly because we used a, a strategy there for getting our, our pieces lined up. So, all right. So we have some extra pieces floating around there. And let's go ahead and get back to our card here so that we can put it all together. All right, so we have an umbrella. I think the easiest way to attach this is to go ahead and hold it upside down and to pop a Stampin' Dimensional right here on the back of it, okay? So that dimensional just really helps to hold that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this here on the corner of my card to get that set. And then I'm gonna go back with my flowers and I am going to add some dimensionals to the back and then tuck these here into my umbrella. Okay, so you can just add these right there along the edge and the, on the two sides. Okay, so now we have our flowers. We have our greeting, which I'm going to put in the background by going ahead and putting flat. I know, gasp, right? I didn't use a Stampin' Dimensional on there. And we have our basic card. Um, you, of course, would want to stamp something to go on the inside. So here, I'll stamp a little flower. And the size for the inside of a regular half sheet card is uh, either, well, four by five and a quarter is a great size. So that's what I've got here with that sh short mat. And then, of course, we need some decorations. So I am going to add some gilded gems, woohoo, which are from the Ornate uh, Garden, Ornate Garden Suite. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and add one of each size. They're small, um, medium, and large. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop one here. And I wanna keep with our, our focal point, so I'm gonna put the bigger one there, maybe a smaller one out here, and then we'll go with a medium one in the middle. 
and there we have it. So a really um, fun and relatively simple card just uses some great coloring book stuff, which is really um, super trendy and, and hot right now. And Stampin' Blends, um, I couldn't be happier with these guys. And the way they match this whole card ensemble is just perfect. So whether you're doing the um, Under My Umbrella part as part of my Low and Stamps card kits, um, this is one of the two cards that you'll get in the mail at the end of the month if your online order is more than $50 before shipping and tax. During the month of April, you'll get this card and one of the others from this set, um, the physical cardstock pieces all mailed to your doorstep. So you can either make them exactly as they are or you can adapt them and use what you've got on hand. But here is the other card version um, using these really pretty um, die cuts and then this really great thank you stamp, which um, I highly recommend. Here's that one with my dies attached to it but here are the the stamps in that one all kinds of thank you and really um we have a lot of thank yous to be given right now for everybody who's um making making our lives uh safer and healthier so thank you to all the um essential workers who are out there going to work every day so uh any questions let me know um visit my website for details or to place your order and i look forward to sharing more projects with you soon happy stamping